Hey everybody and welcome back uh, to another tutorial. On this tutorial we're going to finish up building our accounts payable module uh, inside of Access. Uh, as a quick recap, we started to build out our accounts payable form that contains our voucher number, the date of the vendor's bill, the vendor's invoice number, our employee drop down, who the vendor is, the description of service and goods that we are uh, purchasing, the quantities, the amounts, and then the total lines. To finalize our uh, module, our form, we need to just have three more fields down in the bottom here. We need to have the subtotal of all these total line items, as well as we need a calculation on the tax, and then our grand total. So to do that, we're going to close out our form, and we're going to open up the uh, detailed subform right beneath here. And we're going to switch to Design View, and we're just going to grab this bottom form footer here. Okay, and we're going to stretch. Whoops, we just want to make, give ourselves a little bit of room here. There we go, so we can get that under there. And we're going to go to Design. We'll select our tab, put our field in here. Actually, let's get. You know what, let's get this below the form footer line. So let's just delete that and then re-enter those boxes underneath this line because we don't want this to actually sit inside that subform. And then we're going to bring this line back up. There we go. All right, so we want to get these two fields below the form footer line right here. So we'll go to the left. We're going to call this subtotal. Then we'll tab over to our unbound box and we want to name this on the alt tab and we're going to call this subtotal amount. Once we've named it, we will go in and select our data tab and the first item that we'll see is our control source. This is where, this is how we will bring up our expression builder to enter in our code or our formula. It's those three little dots bring up our expression builder and what we want here is we want to have the sum of the quantities times the amounts close parenthesis okay so that formula again with sum open parenthesis quantity times amount close parenthesis select OK and let's select format and let's choose currency all right, and now let's save it and close it. Okay, so now that we've actually written the formula in our AP Voucher Detail subform, what we want to do now is we want to open up our final form and we want to put in, we want to create some fields and then put in a code that's going to go look for that, uh, those fields over on our, our subform and pull them over. So we'll open this up. Here's our accounts payable form. And we'll right click and go to design view. Now, if you happen to be a little bit squished up here like I am, we want to create a little bit of space below the actual subform so we can put our fields in there. So just you know hover your mouse around this sort of invisible line here. Left click, hold the button down, and just drag this down to give yourself some room. There we go. So now we've got lots of room under our subform to do this. Now to do this, not too hard, we're going to go to our design tab. We will select text box and guys anywhere underneath the subform is fine we'll do all we'll line everything up a little bit later once we get our fields in place just click and again our description box on the left here is going to be subform and we'll tab over to our unbound box now we have to be very careful to name this we want to call this sub total amount We're going to call it AP form. That will tell us later on when we start to build out our program, and we're looking through a whole list of uh, variables. Um, we'll be able, we'll, we will know exactly which one that is. Okay, so let's click over to our data tab, and same thing again. We're going to go to our control source at the top line here. Select those three dots. Now this can be a little different. Um, we're not going to be putting in a, a formula here because we've already done that on our, our detail subform. What we're going to do here is we're going to create in a little code. 
And what we want to do is we want to tell the program, go look over here on this uh, AP detail form. When you get there, go to the form and pull over the subtotal amount into this field. So to get that going, let's just click and get our cursor flashing anywhere in our expression builder. And let's just type in AP, and this will give us the available options. And the one that we want is our accounts payable voucher detail subform. So let's double click that. Okay. Now, it's really important, guys. Don't hit any space bars or anything. Just leave the cursor flashing as it is. Then period. And we want form. So in order, instead of scrolling down through everything, we can just start to type in FO. And there's our form. So let's double click that. Again, no spaces. Let's put in an explanation mark. And what we want to find here is we want to go down, scroll, and there it is right here, our subtotal amount. That was the unbound field that we created on our detailed subform that had that formula in it. Okay, and that's everything we want. I'm going to run through this one more time. Let me just back everything out. Okay. Again, all we're doing is we're writing a simple code. We're telling the program, hey, go over here to this detail subform. When you get there, go to the form and find this subtotal amount and bring it over here. That's all we're doing. So we need to look up that uh, detailed form. So we start by AP because we know that's, you know, that's the start of the name of it. And we can see it here, AP voucher detail subform. Select that. Again, don't touch your space bar, period. Then type in FO. So you see form up here. Double click that to highlight that. Okay, again, no space bars. Follow that by an explanation mark. Okay, that will give your, now will give you the available options on that form that you want to pull over. Let's scroll down and we want our subtotal amount. There it is. All right, so with that little code in place, let's select OK. And now, lastly, let's go to the Format tab. And under Format, let's go here and select Currency. There it is. Now let's save it. Okay. Let's go to Form View. Okay. And now you can see it's totaled up here. So it's got our two items here. We can see 10,000 and 15,000 gives us 25,000. So we're in good shape. So let's just making sure everything's going to collect. Uh, let's put another rent column here. Uh, let's say we're going to pay another two months rent. Tab, tab. Whoops, we got to put an amount. 5,000. Okay, 10,000. Tab. Okay, and you can see the subtotal field is now working correctly. It's calculating a total of 35,000. Beautiful. Now we will just have two more fields to create, and that is the HST and then the total. Now for these, we can build those right on this accounts payable form. So let's go to design view. And we're going to put the next uh, fields right below our subform. So if you're not on the design tab, do that now. Select the text box. Again, anywhere below here. Do You don't have to be precise. And let's double click on this and we're going to name this HST. Okay, our field description. Tab over to our unbound box. Go over to our property sheet menu here. Select the all tab. And let's rename this HST amount. All right, now let's go over to our data tab. Select, go to our control source. Select our three buttons here to bring up our expression builder. And we'll put in our formula, which will be subtotal amount. Let me just make this a little bit wider if I can. Let's see what that is. Subtotal amount. Yep. Subtotal amount AP form. Yep, that's what we're on. Times 0.13. So it's just going to take that subtotal and it's just going to multiply it by 13% for HST or whatever your provincial or state taxes are. If you have multiple taxes, again, you can just create more fields and just put in the formulas. Select OK. And then let's format this as currency. All right, let's save it. Switch to farm view. Okay, and now we're calculating our, uh, our HST. 
So that's in there, and now we've got one last field to put in, and that's just going to be our total. And then we'll tidy this up a little bit. So let's flip back, guys, to design view. You can scroll down here a little bit if you need to. Create a little bit more room if you like. And let's go back to the design tab, select the text box, and anywhere below here we'll do click to get our two boxes up. And we'll just call this total. Tab over to our unbound box. Again, let's name this, and we're going to call this total AP amount. Let's just call it AP form amount. There we go. So. The uh, name for this field will be total AP form amount. And then let's go put in our formula, select the data tab, the control source. Stretch that over a little bit. Bring up our expression builder. And all we need to do here is we just need to add our subtotal amount and our HST. Subtotal, the form. Pull that up one more time here. Subtotal amount plus our HST amount. Select OK. Go to Format. Let's format that as Currency. OK. Let's save it and go to Form View. Okay, everything's there. Now, let's just tidy this up a little bit. We will right-click and go to Layout View. Now, you can go to, you know, get to, get a little bit more precise if you want to go to the reports and things like that. But um, all we're concerned about in this tutorial is functionality and get it to look generally decent. So we'll line everything up over here. and create some uniformity here. Okay. And finally, we'll move our total over. And the field description. Oops, back up there a little bit. There we go. Okay, I'm going to flip it back to form view. Right click and save. And there you have it. Now you've got a fully functional accounts payable module and you can just start going through and creating records. Now, um, real quick, just to create like, a, for, for example, a new bill that came in from a supplier, just to show you some of the functionality here. If you look down here at the bottom left hand corner of my screen, it says record one of one. If this was an actual invoice, I would leave that. I would just simply click on the next one, hit tab, select the date of the bill. Oops, I went backwards on myself there. Okay, let's select the date of the bill. Again, let's say it was another one from today. The vendor number, invoice number from the vendor. Uh, Kathy was putting this in. Let's say this was a phone bill. Let's not utilities, that's fine. From our drop down description of our descriptions of goods and services, we'll select utilities. Quantity of one, let's say our, our bill was $650. Okay. And everything is calculated out for us now, just like that. So if you made it this far, congratulations. You've built yourself a fully functional accounts payable module within your system. Thanks for watching. I hope you find it helpful, and I hope look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye now.